Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your character get this nice little uh, bouncy effect. Uh, this is an effect that's been out for a really long time. A lot of people use it and I'm going to show you how I use it to make my little character here all gummy-like. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how I did this gummy effect on the player. Uh, I got a lot of code on the player, so what we'll do is I'm going to show you how to do it on, on, a, on a chest. Um, let's go ahead and click play just so I can show you how this chest looks like at the moment. So this is our game. This is a little game I'm working on. It's called Boomer, and it's probably going to be released in a couple weeks in the form of just a little demo or maybe, maybe a little beta. Uh, yeah, look out for that. So anyhow, this is the, the chest. If you look at it, we walk up to it, it opens, we get a coin, right? And it's a randomly generated item that we could pick up here. Uh, but the chest, basically, the lid just pops open. So we want to add a gummy effect to that. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the create event. And you can do this on any object. Any object that you want to have this sort of um, bounce gummy effect, uh, you, can, you can definitely um, add that characteristic to just about anything you got in your game. So just head on over to the create event of the object and we're going to set up an X scale equal to 1 and a Y scale that's equal to 1. And this is going to be a control variable that we're going to use to constantly ensure that we are um, approaching a, a proper scale of 1. So in your step event, and if you can see from my step event here, I basically just have some collision. Uh, you know, if it detects collision with the player, then it's going to uh, play our image uh, one, which is really just our, I only have two images for this, this only has two two frames, um, it's either open or closed. So that's just a real simple uh, way to uh, have it look like it was sort of looted, and then I set it to true. And this is where I just create an instance of a random pickup object, but anyhow. In here, what we're gonna do is we are going to adjust our X scale with our approach script. And we're gonna get whatever value we're on at the moment. And we're gonna approach a value of one at a rate of 0.05. We're gonna do the same thing for our Y scale. Adjust this to Y scale, come here for Y scale. And that's the most important part of this tutorial is to make sure that you start off with an X and Y scale of one, and then you use the approach script to make sure that you are constantly, every step of the frame, trying to make sure that you remain on that one at a shift of 0.05. And if you don't have an approach script, it basically looks like this. It's a really common script. This is definitely not one that I wrote. It's been around for a long time on the internet, but it's basically what it looks like. Take a pause uh, and write yourself this little approach script. It's very useful. It basically just gets um, a start and an end value, and then it just shifts from start to that end value at whatever rate you choose, whatever amount you uh, choose. So here we're getting whatever X scale we're on at the moment, and we're going to approach to an X scale of one or Think of one as just being your um, your your uh, your default value, and we're going to do it at a shift of 0 0.05. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to make a draw event. You want to make a draw event for your item, so that we can draw the proper scale that we are manipulating, and we do that by using a built-in function called draw sprite ext for extra and we're just going to basically draw whatever sprite index we have whatever image index uh, we we have we're going to do x we're going to do um y so we're going to do it at the x and y values um, and then your image x scale is what we are going to multiply by for an X scale, and then your Y scale, and zero, we don't want to rotate our object, we want to just use white as our default um, 
color and then whatever the alpha is of the image. So really the only thing that we're making sure to manipulate here is we want to make sure we manipulate the X scale here um, and then the Y scale. So that should be about it. So now that we've set it up, we've set it up by putting in our control variables, we are approaching that. Uh, and then we are drawing, we are applying that X and Y scale to what's being drawn on the screen. Um, if, if we were to play it now, we shouldn't really see any changes. This is a good time for you to start testing to make sure that what you have is working. So we're just going to build here. And if we approach the, uh, the chest, it should still open. It should still relatively look the same. You should still see it. Uh, and that's that's good. We're now ready to manipulate it. So I'm going to manipulate mine right in here. As soon as our player collides with it, we're going to run our gummy script. So this is a script that I wrote, and I'll show it to you. It's super simple. It basically just gets the X and the Y scale. That's all we're doing there. We're just obtaining the X and the Y scale. So here what we could do is, and think of this as just being... Uh, one, right? One, one is no change. There's no change if you do a one and a one. So what we want to do is let's modify it so that it's it expands a little bit to the left and the right by half, and then maybe it shrinks a little bit. So let's run this now and take a look. And there we have it. So now as soon as you walk up to it, you can see there, it sort of expands to the left and right. That's our 1.5, and then it shrinks down a little bit. That's our 0.5 uh, value that we added to our gummy script. And that gives the chest a nice little bounce. Now for my player, I'm doing the same exact thing for our player, and that's how we get our player to look gummy. So my player also has a create event with an X and Y scale assigned to it. We also have a draw event where I'm basically just uh, drawing the sprite in the same way I did for the chest. And from here, in our step event, we're also performing the approach. So now what happens is I can use this gummy effect at any point. So if we look at my idle state, for example, where our player jumps, I apply some gumminess there, right? And now what I'm doing here is I'm I'm shrinking him from left and right and I'm expanding him up and down by a 1.5 and then I'm shrinking him on left and right by almost half his size. And the same thing when I land, as soon as my player lands, um, you know, we, we throw some dust on uh, around, you know, his, his, his bottom collision and then we're doing gummy where he's expanding outwards by 1.2 and he's also shrinking um, his height by about half his height. That's when he lands. So you can use this gummy to affect the way that your character looks when jumping, when landing, um, you know, when when colliding with something, with crashing with something. Uh, and you can add this to your player. You can add this to your chest, to your enemies, to to flowers or, or, or whatever you want to have this this gummy characteristic. You can go ahead and do it. It's a rather rather simple very powerful uh very it's a huge time saver um so yeah i hope this was useful i hope you guys like this leave a comment uh like and subscribe to my videos i appreciate it let me know in the comments below if you found it useful um if you found any bugs or anything like that yeah let's work together on make it better but i found that this was definitely the fastest way to get this kind of look anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next video